Alright guys, how are you doing? In this video, we're going to see which one of my RC cars can get up the steepest slope. Alright, let's have a look at these cars. Starting off, we have my brand new TRX4. This one's got steel axle housings and brass portal boxes to make the weight lower down and also two stage foams. This TRX4 is almost stock. Here we have the Hobeo Hyper VS. This is a Team C T8 T Truggy. And here we have the Traxxas Slash 4x4. Here we have a HPI Wheelie King. Sitting on top we have the Traxxas X Max. And last but not least, the Traxxas Rustler. So we're starting off round one with the old TRX4, pretty much standard. Next we have the brand new TRX4 with the steel and brass axles. Not a problem, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here we got the Traxxas Rustler two-wheel drive rear engine, so all the weight's hanging over the back, so not really expecting this to do too well. Little bit of momentum, kind of cheating a little bit, but it does it. Alright, here we have the Slash 4x4. No sweat. And the beast of an X-Max. Oh, the sheer horsepower. Easy. Oh, and we got the HBI Wheelie King. This is pretty much geared more for speed. So, I can't see it doing that well, to be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're struggling. Yeah. Oh, but he makes it. And we have the Hobeo Hyper VS. Very low centre of gravity. This should do pretty good. Oh, easy. Here we have the Team C T8T. Also low centre of gravity, high grip tyres. I'm expecting this to do really good things though. Yeah, motor maybe doesn't sound too happy, but it does it. Into round two. And the old TRX4, easy. New TRX4, just as easy, no problem. Rustler cheating a little bit of a run up there. Slash, no problem. And we got the brute off the X Max. And yes, does it again. Um, no chance for this little guy, guys. No, no, that's it. Game over, son. Back to the shelf for you, mate. Hyper VS, easy. And should be easy for the Truggy. Yes. Round number three. <laughs> Must have cheating again, but yeah, we'll give it it. Slash doing really well, because this is actually running a crawler motor. Probably why it's doing so well. X Max still muscling its way through. Straight up for the Hyper VS. Straight up for the Truggy. Kind of. Yes, straight up. And into round number four. Ramp's getting steeper of every round, guys, in case you haven't noticed. TRX4 still not struggling one bit. 
Oh, now that's it for the rustler. That's it. You're not having any more goes. Yep, no problem for the slash. Can the X Max still do it? Sent a diff slipping a little bit. Probably could do some stiff uh, fluid in there, but yes, still makes it. Come on, Hyper. Easy. And the Truggy makes it again. Round number five. TRX4 still makes it to the top. Other TRX4. Yep. 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 No problems. The heavier housing should in theory be helping this right now. Slash makes it again. Come on, X-Max. Oh, and he does it. Easy for the Hyper VS. Oh, no sweat for the Truggy. The whole of a carpet, guys. Oh, look. No. Oh, look. There's this bit of metal skid plate on the back here, look. All right, round number six. The ramp's getting steeper. Can the TRFX4 make it? Oh, no. Game over, son. Game over. Hopefully the heavier axles on this should help it. Oh, no. Surprising, actually, there, guys. It's got the two-stage foams in there, heavy housings. Didn't do any better than the standard TRX4. And the slash still makes it. The slash makes it so easily. Come on, X-Max. Can the X-Max get up a steeper slope than the TRX4? Oh, no. Game over. Game over, son. And the Hyper does it again. And so does the Truggy. Round seven. Oh, could this be the limit for the Slash? Yeah, that's it. That's it, I think. No. Tire change. So let's try some of these TRX four wheels and tires. See what happens. These are supposed to be for a crawler. But they look pretty good on here. Will they perform good? Here we go, same steepness again. Oh, and straight up. VS straight up again. And straight up again for the Truggy. Round number eight. Oh, I think we found the limit oh, for the slash, the guys. Limit, guys. Game over slash. But it didn't do bad. And the VS does it again. Oh. Amazing. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's about the limit for the Truggy. Round number nine. And the last man left standing, and he can't do it. But uh, what an effort. A clear winner there for the Hobo Hyper VS. So there you have it guys, a clear winner for the Hobeo Hyper VS. Probably due to these tyres gripping quite well on that rubber mat and also the low centre of gravity. I mean the rock crawlers, they had the advantage of having diff locks and grippier tyres, but they've got a higher centre of gravity. So I think that's probably why this thing won. If you had lock diff on this thing and lower gearing, I reckon it would go up even steeper. The wheelie king, that done the worst out of all of them. The reason being, I think, is because of the high centre of gravity. The motor in here, it's not very good for going slow. It just chugs really badly. It's geared quite high, so it's really not geared for going slow. So that's probably why this done the worst. So if you want to know, if you want to have a deeper look into all my cars, guys, I'm going to make a video soon. 
and I'm going to go into and have a look under the bonnet of every single car, go through all the upgrades, go through everything what I'm running in there, and hopefully that'll be quite an interesting video for some of you guys. So alright guys, hope you liked this video, if you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, smash that bell button to stay notified, see you soon guys. Thank <laughs> you.